I'm back and you're probably a bit surprised how I'm back so soon because so am I but I'm still on a little bit well uni work is a lot easier now to, main, to maintain on top of my personal 3d work so that's why I'm getting a video out before it's been two to five months which I'm quite proud of but in today's video I'm actually recreating my Fortnite skin. It's a bit of a silly video, it's a silly video, but I really wanted to recreate my Fortnite skin. So I did it the other day and, well, I did it, I did it like two days ago and I recorded the whole process. And so I'm gonna do, I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background, I apologize. So I'm gonna do what I did in my last video and kind of talk over the video I recorded while it is sped up so you're welcome to watch and enjoy if it gives you some inspiration that's great it's not exactly a tutorial unless you do find it helpful in some way but I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you the my Fortnite skin that I tried recreating yeah it's a bit silly but it's all a bit fun at the end of the day so I'll show you that now so this is the Fortnite skin I tried recreating. As you can tell, it's a bit of me. If you've seen my other videos, you can see why I love this skin so much. Cause it's so reminiscent of the liquid curves generator. This skin had to be mine. I'm sorry, it just had to be mine. So I don't know who the artist or the designer actually was for this um, skin. If I do find it out, I'll pop it up on the screen right now. If I don't know who did it, then I apologize, but love it, absolutely adore it. So this is the one I tried to recreate, and these are the screenshots I took for inspo. Did like 360 of the whole body, and also a zoom of the face. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we're starting right into Daz 3D again for the base model. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. There's still a lot of things I need to learn with the program, but it's pretty simple on the onset, outset. So here I am just making the model. I tried to make it like as similar to the inspiration of my skin. So just kind of fiddling with everything and everything <laughs> so there was actually already eyes color eye color that was actually perfect for the skin because she had like purple and blue in her eyes and there was a perfect one for that so this hair actually i bought just for this <laughs> just for this project actually i don't know i can't remember how much it was but i'll link it down below if you want the same hair but it's great as you can see as well i actually used a male um skin shader as it was like the closest to the original skin of course i could have adjusted a different one in blender but i wanted to make it easier for myself so i've now brought it into blender and started sculpting it to fit the body shape and size of the one in fortnite so <laughs> it's it's quite funny that i'm you know recreating a skin from fortnite it just makes me chuckle also just a little tip if you bring a hair from das 3d into blender you might notice in the render the hair looks almost blocky and not like transparent and that's because you have to set your total light paths to 40 so if you have that issue set your light paths the total to 40. so now i'm doing the makeup once again trying to get it as close to the inspiration as possible. I'm really not that good when it comes to the texture paint. I could use a tablet, like a drawing tablet, but I don't know, it's just, it's fine. It The makeup definitely could have been better, but at the end of the day, in the outcome, you're not really focusing on the face, you're focusing on the whole, on the whole outfit basically, so. I didn't have to spend too much time perfecting the makeup. So next, I'd like to do this thing with all my Blender projects. I like to get the lighting, like I like to get some basic lighting and then test a render. So I do a render to just test how it looks. And this is when I noticed the hair was kind of like funny as well, or I needed to adjust the makeup. 
but I think in a minute you'll see I'll change the light paths and it will fix it or not I'm going into posing instead <laughs> so posing the model trying to make it like as if you know you pick your character in Fortnite and they just kind of stand there with the arms kind of separated I'm trying to do that trying to make it look as natural as possible so also I focused on the fingers and how the fingers would fall and kind of relax themselves as well that's me just fiddling with the fingers and the legs so that's where I just turned the light paths to 40 and that fixed the hair completely I wish I knew that in my other projects because I had the same problem but at the time I didn't know how to fix it but I fixed it now so now is actually time for the actual outfit so this is a little hack I do with all my models is I actually just duplicate the body if I'm doing something skin tight and just extrude it a bit with a new material and it works fine so and this looks a bit freaky seeing her skin just kind of stretch out as I'm trying to make like the the boots and the leg portion you'll probably notice as well after I've done this part of the legs it looks a bit too much like horse hooves horse hooves a bit too thick but I do sort that out nearer to the end so don't be too alarmed by how big the feet get it will be sorted so yeah, I noticed that there was actually some faces missing always take like close attention and always pay attention to detail with your models because there could be always a face missing when you do something like this so an easy fix if you just click all the edges in edit mode and then press F and that fills them as simple as that now I'm also sorting out the arm portion extruding it more because I notice in the material output versus the render output that it would look different and in the render you would see her skin pop through and stuff like that so I'd have to keep extruding it a bit as well but that's fine working more on the sculpting on the arms hiding some skin peeking through as well so here I just I did the metal part for the shoe and now we get into my favorite part the liquid curves so here I'm actually doing the like the trippy effect first so what I do is I go over the whole leg with metal curves and then in sculpting I flatten it all down so it's more flat simple simple as hell it's really simple it's great that's why I love it so much because it's so versatile but I think this I'm not I don't really like how the front of it looked on that leg it didn't look completely right but I was hmm, I wouldn't say I was lazy maybe I was lazy <laughs> and I didn't want to redo it but I mean it's okay it's good it's good in the outcome it looks good I think so here I start the material for the trippy texture and so I used blender bite size like trippy fabric um, texture uh, which I'll link down below if you want to follow the tutorial for the same texture I use for this one pretty simple his videos are great when you're trying to look for any kind of materials really recommend him but I was actually really surprised at how good I was able to get it as you can see like that's pretty good and what's really cool about it as well is when you move with the camera the actual material moves with it which I thought is cool because that's that kind of happens in Fortnite as well with some skins so I thought it was a cool added touch so I did go in and kind of mess play around with it again because as I said I wasn't the happiest with it but it's passable you know it's like it's okay it's good so next I'm gonna do the arm portion as well on the same size side so I'm actually just changing the one palm because her whole palm on her whole hand on the actual skin is covered in the trippy effect too so that was really easy to do and then using the liquid curves again so it looks like it's kind of like consuming her almost but doing the same technique as I did on the leg as well the arm piece the arm bit I was really proud of I thought that looks it looks so cool as well really love that one so flatten it in it flattening it again um, and then adding the same texture see that looks that looks good it's already looking quite reminiscent of the skin which I'm really proud of so next I'm adding the actual metal part on top of the whole body this part was quite tricky actually I think because when looking at the inspiration it's 
quite hard with the liquid curves generator trying to get the exact shapes because the generator is actually it's quite I don't know how to say it's quite sensitive when it's near other vertices so it will be it will easily connect with them it's fine there's workarounds with that and I made it work but it's also quite hard trying to like see the shapes and kind of not focus onto the trippy and not the metal because they're all kind of mashing together it's really cool but it's hard to replicate but yeah using my favorite tool the elastic deform in sculpting you can like it's the best tool in sculpting in my personal opinion it's the elastic deform so now is the starting to do the left side for her i think yeah that's her left and doing the bodice covering the left boob which i think looks pretty cool i'm actually really proud of how close it is to the actual skin and so going down the leg as well absolutely love how it kind of just all flows together it's just i'm really proud of this one i'm really proud of this one at the end so now i'm sculpting over this part as well to smooth it out and flatten it a bit as well kind of mold it to look a lot cleaner in a way because in the actual inspiration it is a lot more flat than the one I do but I do like how there's more depth in my one in a way and so in this part I'm adding like in the actual skin there's like some black well it's like indents or bevels into the actual outfit but I cheated it a bit and I just drew over it and then colored it the same as the bodysuit in the wet in the end because when I tried actually drawing and sculpting on the on the bodysuit but it just wasn't working right it wasn't smooth it was very jagged I'm sure there's a better way to do that but so I I cheated a bit <laughs> you could say I copped out that's fine that's perfectly fine to say that I think I did too but it is also good it's good because it just adds some extra detail too so I'm fine with it and I'm happy with it. So here I felt the actual black bodysuit was a bit too flat and it needed some texture. So I made a leather material as well following a tutorial, which if I find the exact one I use for le the leather, then I'll link it down below as well. But it's just, it's very, it's, it's barely noticeable in the end, but it does add a little something so it doesn't look too flat because it just needed some texture it was just looking too much like clay and i was thinking i can do better than just a plain black shader it can add some it can add some something so on the actual metal as well i noticed in the inspiration it was quite iridescent like very slightly iridescent so i did that too which is very easy it's just you add a color ramp and a layer weight into the principal B bsdf and simple as that so working on the glove so mine didn't come out as cool as the inspiration but that's because i was finding it hard like how to actually do the inspiration because i tried extruding faces on the front of the hand or i tried adding liquid curves on top it just wasn't working i probably should have used a plane and subdivided it and sculpted it now that i'm saying that i realize i could have done that maybe next time so i actually went in again and added more of like the black detailing because it was lacking in some areas because i just found that it added a little bit more something because it needed it needed some more texture it needed some more depth so working on really little details using like inflate and pinch to smooth out where places are too thick or inflating places where they're too thin as well so here so this is one thing I always wanted to work on in Blender was my lighting. I feel like my lighting was like always the one thing that lacked in my outcomes. So I followed a video on lighting in Blender and this one I found, it just made it look so nice. It made it look so good. So I was like, I had to do it. If I find that lighting tutorial, I'll link it down below as well. As you know, I will link anything I mention in my videos or that could be of use as well. You'll also notice throughout that I do keep rendering it because one thing I like to do is once I render it I like to zoom in to kind of just spot any things that need fixing or adjusting or manipulating stuff like that. So here I was really confused on the background but I was like 
In the character selection screen in Fortnite, it's plain blue, plain blue. And because I'm doing that, I was like, I feel it's e the easiest thing to do, but also makes the most sense, I feel. So what you'll notice as well is that I don't render them together. And that's because I found the blue background. It was reflecting off of the model and I didn't want that happen so I would I rendered them separately by if you click on something and you go on object properties and click tick like shadow catcher it makes it transparent make sure you always have transparent clicked in your render settings too so I rendered it all separately and then kind of merged them together but you'll also notice soon that I also render a little 360 animation which is a little hint to something you're going to see at the end but yeah as you can see by this point I was kind of just working on the min minute details just focusing on anything that needs some adjusting or some fixing or some manipulating so that's why I would always render zoom in look what needs fixing and then I would go back in fix it adjust it there you go so yeah, here's me doing the 360 animation. Very simple, just on an empty, parented it with the model. And then I went like 50 frames, 180, and that 100 frames, another 180. And then it's a 360 animation. Simple as that. So that felt a lot quicker than it actually was. So that was the actual video done. I wasn't expecting to ramble on for so long there, but as I mentioned a second ago, I actually did a little animation, which I will play at the end of this video, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some sort of inspiration. Maybe you want to make your Fortnite skin. I don't know. This was a weird one if I'm honest and it felt a lot quicker than it was but I think apart from that I'll show you the little edit and animation I made so I'll see you in the next video I guess bye